Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. We are going to create a pride look using the Glam Light Cake palette. I first go into that purple frost shade and I put it on my eye just like you see, you know, just my inner eyelid area. And then I go in to that birthday cake shade and I place it right next to the purple. I know it doesn't look blended. We will blend it soon, I promise. I then go into that key lime shade and I place it on my outer corner area right next to that blue. We'll tell you this shade came off patchy. I don't know why, but it did. And I tried blending it out multiple times, but it still showed up as patchy in this eye look, just so you know. I go into that pineapple shade and I place it right next to that green. And then I go into that peach shade and I place it next to the pineapple shade. Now this peach came off a little bit too red versus orange. I mean it is orange but it was very very pigmented and vibrant so I ended up mixing the peach shade with the pineapple to try to make it more orange or appear more orange. So that's what I did and I'm just putting it on my temple area and blending it out. So yeah, there I am just adding some yellow and more peach to try to lighten up that, you know, orange. But yeah, I go into that red velvet shade and I place it on my upper temple area, forehead area, the sides of my forehead. I don't know um, how to describe that placement. And I put it a little bit above my brow, um, just a little bit. And then I go back into the peach and pineapple and blend that out to, yeah, just try to blend it out some more. That red velvet was a little bit challenging on my forehead to blend out too. Um, yeah, it came out just a little bit patchy without a primer there, you know. But then I go back into that pineapple shade and I start to blend that out some more to make it more smooth and to blend into that peach shade. And I bring it down just a little bit. And yeah, I just keep blending because you kind of have to when you're doing something like this. So yeah, just blend and blend and blend. By the way, this is a rainbow look for pride. So happy pride to everybody. And of course I ended up not liking how far I blended it out. So I used my beauty blender and just kind of wiped away that mess. And I bring that yellow slightly down underneath my, you know, corner of my bottom lash area, but not too much. And I kind of bring it above that green a little bit. So now I'm going into that key lime shade and adding more and blending it out and into the pineapple as well as blending it just slightly above the blue shade. Now I am going to take that icy mint shade and I'm going to place it on top of the birthday cake just slightly on top to kind of blend it out and blend it in front of or on top of I should say that purple frost. And then I take that purple frost shade and I kind of blend it out into the birthday cake shade. And then I go into Ube and I place that on top of purple frost or above purple frost. And 
blend that out and I kind of, you know, take it above the purple and the blue. And then I take that key lime shade and I put it on my bottom lash area on the corner, the corner, sorry, jeez, I am crazy. And I kind of just try to round it out, you know, to kind of make the transition take place. So that's what I'm doing there. And this is where you can see I really do add quite a bit of that kiwi lime and a key lime and try to, I don't know, make it not so patchy, but it was still patchy. So I then take that, you know, blue shade and I place it next to the green birthday cake and I kind of blend it in. And then I take Ube and I put it next to that blue and bring it into my inner corner. Then I take lavender and I place that on my inner corner for some kind of purpley highlight. I just thought maybe that would go okay with the look. And I throw on a red, you know, waterline and a wig and a red lippy. I also take that pineapple shade and I place it on top of that red velvet to blend it out into my forehead a little bit more. And this is the finished look. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.